Hey guys, it's Irish again. Uh, in this video I thought I'd show you how to install HL Window Manager and how to set up your key bindings. So I do have this installed, but uh, so in Arch you do sudo pacman-s herb stuluft wm and then you want to also get dyson2. So if we put in our password here Again, this has been in, uh, installed, so I'm going to hit uh, cancel. So the next thing you guys want to do is to uh, make a uh, a folder in your .configs. So we're going to do mkdir uh, tilde slash dot config slash and then the <coughs> and then the name of the uh, window manager. I just want to do H-E-R-B S-T-L-U-F-T W-M so now we're just going to CD into that so dot config and then auto tab so as of right now there's nothing in there so there's going to be two files that you're going to need to um, put in here. The first one uh, is I guess your main uh, configuration file is called an auto start so that is located in so we're gonna go copy so CP so it's gonna be located in the Etsy XDG and then it has its own um, folder so Herbstaluft uh, WM and then you want to look for auto start so we're gonna hit yes I'm sorry. So we're gonna save that to auto start. So if we list this out, you'll see that auto starts there. So if we go in there, you'll notice that this is a bash script. So the whole premise of HL is based on scripts. So a lot of these things you're gonna have to make sure that you make them executable. So before we move over uh, to uh, go into uh, HL, there's one thing that it doesn't do right off the bat. And that is if you have D menu installed, it does not, uh, if you press whatever, it doesn't come up with anything. So you're gonna have to put this in there. So it's gonna be HC keybind uh, dollar sign capital MOD for mod dash D and then you're gonna spawn and then it's D menu underscore run so if you do not want the alt key to be your mod key uh, if you look at line 18 right here uh, you'll be able to change that to the Windows key so that would be mod 4 so if you do not want um, the alt key, uh, then this is where you want to change it. The, the other thing I'm going to change in here, uh, two more things, uh, is the spawn. It's going to be the spawn uh, terminal. So you just say spawn urxvt because by default it does open up X term um, so you want to do that so the next thing so we're gonna exit out of this X so the next thing you want to get is the panel dot sh so it's gonna be in the same location so it's gonna be in the Etsy slash XDG herbs Luft, and then you're just gonna do panel and then you're just gonna save it as panel dot sh so if we look at that you'll notice that the dot sh so just I'm gonna go more into the panel dot sh in the next video when I show you how to configure the top bar but I'm just gonna show you what this looks like so again this is based off of scripts and then this is for the Dyson 2 panel uh, a lot of it uh, looks complicated, but 
uh, you don't really need to know what a lot of this stuff does. So there's only going to be a few areas on uh, what we're going to focus on in here. So I'm going to close this one out too. So the next thing uh, before, the final thing before we move over there is we have to make the auto start and the panel.sh executable. So we're going to go sudo chmod. You can either put plus x or you can do a 775, uh, but I prefer the plus x and then auto start. And then the next thing is the panel.sh. So those are executable. So what we're going to do uh, is going to go uh, into the HL window manager and I will see you guys on the other side. Okay, so once you get into HL, uh, you're going to notice a pretty blank looking window manager. If you guys have your wallpaper set, uh, obviously it will come uh, up if you have it in your XNRC file. Um, so in this video I'm just going to show you how to set your key bindings. So it's uh, open up the auto start. So what we're going to do, uh, I'm just going to use my i3 as just a reference um, because um, it's the volume control and also my brightness control is what I'm going to add into the HL. So we're going to go vim dot config and then auto start. So the one thing I do like to change is uh, for the quitting I do like uh, to or the closing out of a program I do like that to be um, mod shift Q and then the quitting the entire program is mod shift C because I do uh, have that in all the window managers I've ever used so I can save this really fast uh, so now if I do a mod shift Q it will go like that so okay so in these are the things that I'm going to add right here so you can put this anywhere um, but I like to put it right at the end of the the beginning um, key bindings so you're just gonna do for volume control we're gonna do HC keybind and then you can do mod oh, dollar sign mod dash and then F11 so for volume you're gonna do spawn a mixer set master 5% and then same thing, just the uh, the opposite. So bind or key bind mod dash f12 spawn a mixer set master five percent plus and I forgot to put the minus sign here. So we're gonna exit and save this. So we're going to go into a mixer okay we're actually going to go into have you controlled make sure to see if this does go so uh, output device so if we do mod and then F11 Okay, so it's the bottom here. So mod F11 does decrease and then F12 increases it. So that does work. Um, the next thing we're going to do is the is going to be the brightness control. Now this is going to be a little hard uh, to show on here. 
because uh, it doesn't show up on the video, but um, I'll tell you if it does work or not. So, uh, herb, and then auto start. So, we're going to do this down here. Um, brightness, control. So, again, s similarly, HC, keybind, then mod, dash, F, Four, spawn, and then X backlight dash deck five, and then the opposite. So key bind mod dash F five spawn X back light dash ink this time and then 5. So we're just going to save this and then if I do a mod F5 okay so it did not hold so let's take a look here alright just give me a second to figure this out Okay, what well, no, I did forget to uh, restart the uh, refresh the HL configuration file. So if I do a Alt F4, it does darken my monitor, and then if I do Alt F5, it does uh, brighten it. So I'll just I, I personally don't do this, but if you do want to do this, uh, you can spawn certain programs to open up. Um, with a uh, key binding. So, say I wanted to open up uh, Firefox, I can do hc keybind slash mod dash, um, we'll say uh, i, and then you just do spawn and then Firefox. So if I save this and refresh, go to a different workspace and do mod i, this should show up as Firefox shortly. So it doesn't look like it worked. So if we go back to number two, Maybe mod I is being used for something already. Uh, let's take a look down here. Yeah, mod I is used to jump to urgent. So let's uh, just come up with something else here. Um, let's just do uh, B. I don't think that's being used, so let's save this. R, and then mod B. This should pop open uh, Firefox, if hopefully. Yep, there it is. So you can do this to um, really any uh, program that you use um, more often than not that you just don't feel like going into D menu and then typing it out. <clears throat> so that is all I'm going to show you guys in this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to style this top bar because uh, really in window managers, if they do have a bar to make anything in the window manager look good, it's always about the bar. So I'm going to show you guys how to do dies in two configuration so uh, let's just look out for that uh, tomorrow or sometime this weekend so that's all I have um, and I will talk to you guys next time